All right, we're going to continue our study ball series on draftable quarterbacks. And we're going to take a look today at a guy that did nothing but succeed at the college level, but for some reason seems to be getting overlooked uh, in terms of the NFL draft. And that's Georgia's quarterback, Stetson Bennett. Um, you know, and a lot of people might say, well, his size is not very big. Well, we've got a guy at the top of the draft in Bryce Young, who's not very big either yet, doesn't seem to be diminishing what he did in college. Um, you know, he's a little bit older. Okay, yes, he's a little bit older, but we've seen guys like that, the Joe Burrows that uh, come into the league just a little bit older than some of these guys that come out early. And that doesn't have to be a detriment, especially in this day and age when quarterbacks are playing until they're 40. And so uh, I'm not really sure what it is about Stetson that, you know, people aren't liking or people don't think is going to translate. I believe when you watch him just play the game, play the game of quarterback, snap in and snap out, game in and game out, um, you know, he, he would probably be one of the top three quarterbacks just in terms of how he played at the college level. Doesn't mean it's going to translate that way to the NFL, but I really like the things that I see on tape. And so we're going to dive into it. I'm going to show you what I like, and uh, maybe he does drop down the draft boards, but maybe he's a guy that can get these things to translate and is one of those guys that's a steal later in the draft. All right, so here we go. Okay, do a lot of different things there at Georgia. Obviously, it's in a big game against Ohio State. And again, what I like is just the little feel in the pocket, okay, that he's just going to slide, feels the pressure coming right here, just going to slide back here, not going to panic. This particular play, basically a post with a deep over, flat concept that we're going to see at every level, especially in the NFL, and a little slide over, boom, nice feel, kind of falling away, money, throw, second level, and I always say it, I believe guys that make their money at the next level, the NFL level, are guys that can make these second level throws. Okay, here's another one. We're gonna get a little two man. These guys dropping down underneath our guys, safeties, get wide, got our shot down the middle right here. Again, we're taking a look at another chunk throw right here, step up in the pocket. Okay, seems to be able to see it. Boom, nice throw up and over, puts it on the money. Plenty of velocity on this kind of throw. 30, 35 yard throw down the field. Nice, you know, a lot of people might say, oh, he doesn't have the arm strength. Doesn't have that big arm. I think he's got enough arm to be able to play, and that's, to me, what it's all about. Don't have to have a huge arm, you just got to have enough arm. Enough arm to make every throw, the different kinds of throws. Firm balls in different situations. Here's another one, great touch, right? We're running the inside fade. Gets what he wants, press man across the board, running the inside fade. I love how he just puts this ball up, lays it to his guy, and allows his guy to be able to adjust, catch the back shoulder, nice ball, good feel, Good pace on the football while we get another chunk play. Seeing chunk throw after chunk throw after chunk throw. Boom. Nice job right here. I like it off the play action. Comes off. Reading this safety come flying down. This safety go to the middle of the field. And we're going to replace with this little over right here off the play action. Right? You want to be able to see if he sees it. Okay? The play action feels this guy coming down. We get the separation, feels the big window right there. No hesitation, gets the ball out. Nice throw on the money, accurate throw again at the second level. Okay, play action here, we talk about arm strength. Play action here, I think he's just working the free safety with his eyes. Over to this side, comes back now. I understand, Iowa State guy falls down in this particular case, but lays this ball out there, and I don't know how far is he throwing it from the 15. Gets it down there to the 30, right? So we're talking 55 yards in the air, good throw, good job finding the opening, but just again, showing you the second level type stuff that if that's the big knock is doesn't have quite enough velocity on the football. 
Here's another one. Really well done. Feels the safety split again. Now they're playing Tampa too. Feels like I've got a better athlete than they do at the Mike linebacker here. He's looking over, watch, eyes. This direction, these are the kind of things to me that translate. I'm checking this backside safety. See, so making sure that guy gets outside the numbers and is not working back into my middle read. I get him held, boom, now I'm gonna come back. Again, the feel, kind of little feel in the pocket, little slide in the pocket. Could have easily come back and read the high-low right here as well, if he wanted to, but came back, understands the matchup, understands the safeties get wide, and we're gonna go get the big play. And if there's one thing that maybe I see on tape, and we'll talk about it more as we get through these things, uh, sometimes that I think he tries to get the big play a little too much instead of being able to see everything and, and you know take really what the defense is giving you. But when you make throws like that, you put them on the money, we've all done that. As gunslingers, sometimes we're trying to push the ball and make the big play. Another throw right here. Comes out. Watch his eyes. Eyes working left. Checking it out, trying to get this guy to hold, and then he's going to wrap this in back to the backside. Nice job, nice throw, okay? A little bit of velocity on that. Knows he's got to beat that Mike linebacker. Boom, sticks it right on his guy. Another chunk throw. So you've got to remember, too, this is all in one game, right? This is in one game against Ohio State. All these big plays, big throws down the field, not just a highlight reel. I like this, again, just feel, feel, okay? We got a quick out right here. Feels this guy run up over the top. Doesn't even have necessarily great leverage on the corner right here, but he feels and anticipates at the top that his guy is going to separate right here. Lays it out there. Nice ball, away from the defender. Nice throw, nice anticipation. Those are things that can easily translate to the next level. Don't have to throw everything hard. Throw it on time, anticipate. Here's a nice situation where they're bringing hot, right? They're bringing extra guys right here. I'm gonna try to go to this flat, hot over to this side. We get a guy that peels off and just, I like the feel, the feel for the game. This is a lot what people talk about with Bryce Young. He's just going to slide away, slide away from where he knows the pressure's coming from by time until he can hit the second hot that he's got, right? He's got the little pop right here with the flat, he wants the flat, but the peel takes that away. It's okay, I have a plan. Have a plan against pressure, buy a little more time, hit your second guy, get a completion. So here's another one you see, they're bringing an extra guy, so it's another hot situation. Now, I'd like to see him have a little better plan right here. See that pressure coming out, he's got a quick throw right over here, okay? Get the ball out, right? At the next level, you can't always buy time and make things happen and try to throw the ball down the field. Sometimes you gotta just take it, take it. Take the hitch outside, take the hitch outside. Have a plan for pressure. Now does a nice job of eluding the pressure right here and trying to make a throw, misses his throw on the move, but that's something too. He's got a little bit of a feel. He's got some athleticism to him. Maybe not a Bryce Young athleticism, but he's got a feel and can get out of the pocket and make some throws even though he misses that one right there. Now these are the things that I'm always looking at. Just Watch his body language here. These are what I call athletic throws, right? It's not a big throw. It's not a throw that goes way down the field, but watch, his feet are kind of off platform. He's able to throw this with his core, kind of flip it out there, nice soft touch throw to this angle for the back. You know, he's coming out, making sure that he's got depth and width. He's got that window right here. Does a good job of kind of feeling it. And then nice little soft athletic throw. Don't have to throw everything hard understand who you're throwing to, what kind of throw you need to make in different situations. I like guys that play the position athletically. And again, that's not about how well they run or can they run the zone read, but it's the feel and the way they use their body to throw the football. Here's another one, right? Just 
Some guys struggle with this. We're just running a little screen. Look at this. Just kind of pops up, gets it up and over that defensive end. Nice, soft, accurate throw to his back. I love this stuff. So many throws come into play where you just have to be a bit of an athlete and you got to adjust and you got to carry your body and be able to throw with your body instead of your arm. Patrick Mahomes does this all the time and we are wowed by the throws now. Some of his throws are a little more special than other guys, but his ability to control and throw with his body is key. Some guys are great athletes. They have great athletic traits, but they can't play athletically with their body. Okay, nice job right here. He's coming out, trying to look to get this throwback right here. Doesn't like it. Ability to buy a little bit of time, kind of work through some things. There's another athletic throw, right? Off platform, kind of falling away backwards, boom. Get it out quickly to your guy. You make something positive happen. Play action, let's see him on the move, right? Athletic ability, be able to get on the move, okay? Push the pocket, I love this. As he comes out here, he's looking to get the flat. Once he doesn't have the flat, watch his course change. He resets his line, so his line is set up to the throw, and you're gonna see, does a nice job attacking. Boom, attack the throw, nice throw to that second level on the naked over, and the athleticism to kind of force the defense to have to chase him and respect him as an athlete. Another one, get on the move, see it, boom, quick set, love it. Look how quick he sets. He's moving, he's rolling, but I see it coming open. I see the pressure, right? Pressure coming off the edge, I know I can't continue. Boom, reset yourself, see it come open, reset yourself, get the ball out. Nice read, good timing, able to see and attack the pressure. I like it, it's playing the position. Okay, a little athleticism. Talked about it, the way he's able to throw the ball and do different things, and then he's got enough that you can do a few different things like this with him. Nice speed to get the edge. Again, you're not gonna run him up in between the tackles. Doesn't have that stature, but he's got enough athleticism, especially like down here in the red zone or as a change of pace, that he can give you something in the run game. So you see, I, I, a lot of people are overlooking Stetson Bennett. You see in the course of that one game, a lot of really, really big throws, good second, level throws, nice little athletic feel in the pocket. To me, he's not a robot. You know, it doesn't have to be one way. He's fluid, and I like that. And again, you don't have to run fast. You don't have to be a guy that gets out of the pocket a lot to be athletic and fluid. And I think he has that to him, a la a Bryce Young, right? That's what he does so well, his ability to move in the pocket and kind of shift his weight and then flip his hips and make throws and have kind of an athletic feel to how he gets the ball out, how quick he can get the ball out, the touch that he has. Stetson Bennett, to me, when I watch him on tape, has all of that. So when it comes to actually playing the game, the position as a whole, that's why I say what I've seen in college, he's probably the third best in this group um, in terms of how he played in college. And now we've got to figure out if all of those things can translate to the next level.